Welcome to chapter 14 of the Prentice Hall Biology book. Today we'll be covering the human genome. Okay, 14-1, human heredity. So human chromosomes. So to analyze chromosomes, scientists must photograph cells in mitosis, where the chromosomes are fully condensed and visible. Scientists then cut out the chromosomes from the photos and group them together in pairs. A picture of chromosomes arranged this way is known as a karyotype. Now humans have 46 chromosomes. We have 23 pairs. Two of the 46 chromosomes are known as sex chromosomes, and they determine the individual sex. Females have two X chromosomes, while males have one X and one Y chromosome. The other 44 chromosomes are known as uh, autosomal chromosomes, or autosomes. All human eggs carry a single X chromosome, 23 regular, or 22 autosomes and one sex chromosome. However, half of the sperm cells carry an X chromosome, and the other half carry a Y chromosome. This ensures that the offspring will be approximately half female and half male. Okay, human traits. So the pedigree chart. We can see over here, this is a pedigree chart. And pedigree charts are used to, do, to study how the traits are passed from one generation to the next. Genes and the environment. Many traits are polygenic, which means they're controlled by many genes. And personal traits are only part, partly governed by genetics. They're also influenced by many other factors, including the environment. Okay, so for human genes. The, so the human genome is a complete set of genetic information, and it's made up of tens of thousands of genes. And a few examples of the genes in humans are the blood group genes. So there's the RH blood group, which is whether you are positive or negative, and then there's the ABO blood group, which determines if you have A-type blood, AB, B, or O. So recessive alleles in these genes can cause genetic or, uh, disorders, while dominant alleles... Uh, are what are most prevalent. Now, not all genetic disorders are caused by recessive uh, alleles. Some genetic disorders are caused by dominant alleles. And then there are codominant alleles. So an example of a codominant allele that causes a genetic disorder is uh, the sickle cell disease. Okay, so from gene to molecule. Scientists looking for are looking for connections between DNA sequences and the phenotype. So Here's an example. In both cystic fibrosis and sickle cell disease, a small change in the DNA of a single gene affects the structure of a protein, causing a serious genetic disorder. In cystic fibrosis, which is most common among people whose ancestors came from Northern Europe, so it's caused by a recessive allele on chromosome 7, and this causes severe digestive problems and produces a thick, heavy mucus that clogs the lungs and breathing pathways. And it uh, is caused by the deletion of three bases in the middle of a sequence for a protein on chromosome 7. And then we have sickle cell disease. So sickle cell disease is characterized by a bent and twisted shape of the red blood cells. And they tend to get stuck in the thinner capillaries. So hemoglobin is the protein in the red blood cells that carries oxygen. And in the process of making hemoglobin, if one DNA base is changed, the hemoglobin does not carry uh, oxygen. And, we, and the result is the sickle cell disease. Okay, dominant or recessive. So, a dominant allele or recessive allele depends on the nature of the gene's protein product and its role in the cell. Okay, 14-2, human chromosomes. So, a human diploid cell contains more than 6 billion pairs of DNA, and it's all neatly packed into 46 chromosomes. Only 2% of the DNA in chromosomes, however, function as genes, that is, is transcribed into RNA. Okay, human genes and chromosomes. So chromosomes 21 and 22 are the smallest human autosomes. Uh, chromosome 21 contains only 32 million base pairs. And um, if there is a problem on chromosome 21, it results in the genetic disorder ALS, <coughs> also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Uh, chromosome 22 contains 43 million DNA base pairs and is uh, the, placement, the place for 545 different genes. So genetic disorders on chromosome 22 include leukemia and other uh, disorders associated with uh, neurofibromatosis. Okay, sex-linked genes. So genes located on the X and Y chromosome are called sex-linked genes. And, that, and because the X chromosome is so much larger, it contains many more sex-linked genes. As we can see from the diagram, we see all of these numbers are genes, genes on the X chromosome, while over here on the Y chromosome, there are a lot fewer numbers. Okay, so colorblindness. Colorblindness is found on the X chromosome. And because males have just one X chromosome, all the uh, X-linked alleles are expressed in males, even if they are recessive. 
for females, they need two recessive sex-linked genes. That means if a male has one recessive uh, allele for colorblindness on the X chromosome, he will express colorblindness. And then there's hemophilia, another genetic sex-linked disorder. So it's a sex-linked gene found on the X chromosome, and a protein necessary for blood clotting is missing. And people who have hemophilia can bleed to death from minor cuts. And then there's the uh, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, which is a sex-linked disorder that results in the progressive weakening and loss of skeletal muscle. So the X chromosome inactivation. In female cells, one X chromosome is turned off, and that t is turned off because they have two, they only need one. And the turned off chromosome forms a dense region in the nucleus known as the bar body. Okay, so non-disjunction occurs when homologous chromosomes fail to separate during my meiosis. If non-disjunction occurs, abnormal numbers of chromosomes may find their way into the gametes, and a disorder of chromosome... No so Down syndrome is a chromosomal disorder, and it occurs uh, when trisomy occurs. So trisomy is three bodies. In instead of having one pair of chromosomes, there are actually three chromosomes. And the most common type is three, chromosome three copies of chromosome 21, which results in Down syndrome. Then there are sex chromosome disorders. So in females, non-disjunction can lead to Turner's syndrome, which results in w only one X chromosome instead of two. And this, when this happens, the uh, female is usually sterile. In males, non-disjunction can cause Klinefelter syndrome, which is an extra X chromosome. Okay, 14-3, human molecular genetics. So human DNA analysis, testing for alleles. Testing for disorders that can, uh, testing for alleles. So doctors like to test for disorders that can potentially be passed down to the next generation. And genetic tests are available for hundreds of different disorders. Then DNA fingerprinting. So DNA fingerprinting is a way of genetic identification. It uses sections of DNA that have little or no known function, but vary widely from one individual to another. They use these little known uh, sequences because the sequences that affect humans are very similar uh, in the entire human population. Okay, so a small sample of human DNA is cut with a restriction enzyme. The resulting fragments are separated by size using gel electrophoresis. Fragments containing these high, highly variable regions are then detected with a DNA probe, and this reveals a series of DNA bands based on various of bands of various size. If enough combinations of restriction enzymes and probes are used, a pattern of bands is produced that can be distinguished statistically from the pattern of any other individual. <clears throat> and DNA fingerprinting is used to convict or prove innocence in crimes. Okay, the Human Genome Project. So the Human Genome Project is an ongoing effort to analyze the human DNA sequ sequence. In 2000, it was announced that a working copy was essentially complete. And so the Human Genome Project was... Uh, discovered through rapid sequencing, where scientists first determined the sequence of bases in widely separated regions of DNA as markers, similar to mile markers. And this makes it possible to locate and return to specific locations in the genome. They then use a, t a technique called shotgun sequencing. So they cut DNA into ra random fragments and determine the sequence of bases in each fragment. Computers then find areas of overlap between the fragments and put the fragments together by linking the overlapping areas. So, searching for genes. There are possibly as few as only 25,000 genes. And to find genes, scientists need to look for promoters, which usually indicate the start of a gene. Okay, gene therapy. So, gene therapy is the process of changing the gene that causes a genetic disorder. In gene therapy, the ab an absent of faulty gene is replaced by a normal working gene, the body, and then the body is able to produce healthy cells. So, viruses are used in gene therapy because of their ability to enter a cell's DNA. And the virus is, that is modified so it cannot cause disease. So the virus is injected, in, with the modified virus is injected into the healthy gene, and it infects the patient. Then the virus pr puts its healthy gene into the patient's DNA, and then with the replication of the cell, the patient can produce uh, healthy cells. So ethical issues in human genetics. So with the talk of all the human genetics, people are questioning whether we should advance with it. Um, one of the main ideas is being able to change what your uh, children look like before they are ever born, is going into the, the, um, the uh, egg cell and altering their hair color, their eye color, or uh, similar physical aspects. And then another 
ethical issue in humans is the uh, cloning, which has long been debated in, uh, scientific, in the scientific world. Okay, now we have key concepts for chapter 14. So, what are sex chromosomes? What determines whether a person is male or female? Using an example, explain how a small change in a person's DNA can cause a genetic disorder. Why are sex-linked genes more common in males than in females? How does non-disjunction cause chromosome number disorders? What is the Human Genome Project? And describe how th gene therapy works. Alright, that's it for chapter 14.